Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we had a parlay party yesterday. And the player was on fire. So, a quick recap. What we ended up doing yesterday was our regular bets. Regular bets did decent above average. But our parlay party, it got wet. We was dripping. We was dropping dimes. Assists. Rebounds. Everywhere. I'm your boy, Lando. Cheaty Cable Top Sports Debate. Hope all is well. Make sure you guys do some housekeeping and hit that good old like button. Hit the subscribe button. You here already? What are you waiting for? Hit the damn subscribe button. And if you're not a member of the Hall of Fame, if you're not a Hall of Famer, stop playing around. Oh my God. They took my job. And sign up and become a Hall of Famer and a Patreon with the link in the bio or pinned to the top. Comments yesterday, one of bets, when it came down to the money line. Money line did decent. We went three and two. Suns, I'm not mad at this game because it was a pick 'em game. Anybody could have won, but they couldn't stop KD ass at the end. And KD completely just dominated. He was on a whole different planet. Warriors, I'm mad at that one because they started so bad with Curry getting back. It's going to take rhythm. It's going to take time to get their swag back. Prize picks was dumb. We end up going one and one and they got us for we lost by two points with damar we won easy with bridges and this one voided since he didn't play and they said hey since you ain't win both the other two we don't win that's 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 some bs they should avoid that out price fix you guys need to fix that because i do not like it i would not have it and our ladder challenge we won swept the ladder challenge and our points, we won, we swept our points. And our freaking assist, Jalen Brown. Stop the music. Jalen Brown. Let me talk to you, dog. Let me let me talk to you. You are banned from any assist activity on this channel for the rest of the year. You didn't have one quarter. You didn't have two, you didn't have three, you didn't have four. Everybody else yesterday had four quarters. You had six quarters to pass the damn ball to somebody else for them to get make a shot and you get assists. He had one assist, people, in six different quarters. Where do they do that at? Like, buddy, how was that freaking possible? Like, mad is a understatement. Because everybody else hit. And if you look at the box score, like even watching the game was so bad because he didn't pass it to nobody. Like, look at this. Tatum, six assists. Horford, big ass. Six assists. Smart, six assists. White, four. You got a one. Bench players, three assists. Three. The only person on the whole team that didn't have more assists than you played 12 minutes. You played four times more minutes than Buddy, and you couldn't get your band. Like, jeez, man. Hey, come on. Put my music back on. All right. Sorry about that. Then we end up dominating the rebounds. Sweep. The thing is. He needs some milk. Well, most people don't understand Yes, I could do the crazy $35 win, $1,500 parlay, which I thought of doing yesterday, and I had one for you guys. Booker, over 30. KD, over 30. Um, Luka, over 30. Kyrie, over 25. I had all of them. But I also had Giannis, over 30. So we all would have been pissed off. We all would have been mad because Giannis has got decided to score 23 points. So when you do some of these parlays, that was that would have been like a 15% of chance of winning or less. Versus the one I did probably had a 60 to 70% chance of winning. Yeah, you didn't win a zillion dollars, but you won money. The name of the game is win money. When you come to my channel, know I'm going to be safer. 
I'm the person. I'm the I'm the voice of reason. When you want to do yellow stuff and be a thought, you come to your boy, and I'm like, ah, that probably ain't a good idea. It's your boy. So overall, we did great. It was a successful day, and. If you are a member of the Patreon, you get access to like this. 10 hours ago, like 3 in the morning, I seen the odds 5 and a half with the Pistons. I seen the high odds 4 with the Cleveland Cavs. I'm like, look, do a parlay. Do this right now because by the time I wake up and I do this, odds are not going to be the same. Which odds are not the same? But we got some good bets for you guys today. Let's get it popping. All right. So ladder challenge today we are at twenty dollars. Twenty of those things we won yesterday. So now let's go and turn twenty dollars into forty. If you are not familiar with what the heck we are doing, we're taking ten dollars and we're doubling it up every single day. Where is look at that beautiful every single day in March green at the fat days we had to put a good luck because you need a little bit of skill and a little bit of. Day one is complete. So now we got $20. We taking that 20, turn into 40. After day three, we take profits. After day six, we take profits. After day nine, we take profits. Let's see if we can get this thing popping. We got Joker, 10 rebounds. Jamal Murray, 20 points. And we have Evan Mobley, 10 points. Three legs. Very, very good odds. They don't believe Murray will have 20 points. I know you guys scared. Like, damn, Lando used to do eight legs. It wasn't a day for it today because if you look at the makeup of the games, I will tell you why in a second. Just hold on next. $20. Let me know what odds that you guys get it in for. It should still be the same. Now, when it come down to our DraftKings money line, it's a bunch of options, but I want to win today. So we took the key Cleveland Cavs straight up. I did like them minus four. If you get it at minus four, that's a good one. Three minus three, three and a half. But I just took them straight up. The Heat straight up. They just played the Atlanta Hawks and Ice Trey, Ice Cold Trey had an 8% gain. I don't think he ever did that. I know he ain't did it this year. 8%. Remember, shooting 60, 70% is great. 50% is okay, 40% is decent. He shot eight, under 10%. So I don't know if he got a boot thing in Miami. Whatever he got going on in Miami, got his head all messed up. So we're going to take the heat again, back-to-back. -back. Good odds. And with Portland, they're going against Detroit. My Detroit Pistons. And they're about to get their asses blown out. So this is the money game. The money game right here is we need them to lose by 10 points. And this is the one we really want. You bet each one of these individually. You can add it as a parlay also. But if you bet it individually, like say right here, we're going to make over $100. Let's just say it's 100 I forget what size. Let's just say it's $100 profit right here. And let's say we lose this one. We're even. And then we win this one. We win $37. So we, up. we end up winning. We just need this one to win and any of these two. We prefer these two to win. These two winning will still put us under if this one don't hit. So I could have did more games, but it wasn't that type of day. Prize picks. Yesterday, prize picks. They didn't stole from us, stole that money. We getting it back. We are taking Dame Dom under. We are Dame Dollar. He's going under because he's playing the Pistons, and he's going to blow out the Pistons. Need him to drop 20 in the first quarter. And by halftime, he have 23 points, and he is completely done for the rest of the game because it would be up by like 35 points. And that's all we need, and let other people ball out and help him out. So I think this is a great bet. Jimmy Buckets. Jimmy Buckets, we're going to talk about that. I got him for, to make over seven free throws, and we got the Joker. The Joker is the Joker, so it's no need to joke about the Joker. All right, so let's first look at the games. Cavs versus the Celtics. Uh, the Celtics just played a double overtime. So let's do the math. If the game started at 7 yesterday, 7.30, 8, 19, 11, so the game post ended at 11. It went to double overtime. Let's say it ended at midnight. After doing interviews and shower, showering, they, let's say, best case scenario, they got on a plane at 1 in the morning. From Boston to Cleveland, let's say it's a three-hour flight. 
They got there at four in the morning. By the time they got in the hotel, it was five in the morning to go to sleep in Cleveland. And the coach is like, look, y'all don't get no practice, no pregame, anything. Just see y'all at the game, right? So they met, and the whole time they're there, they're thinking about the ass whooping they got by the Knicks. New York whooped on them. This is like a few games. New York, look, they're the better team right now. So they're depressed over that. And you have an energized Cavaliers with Mitchell. Mitchell ready to go to work on him. So this could be a blowout game. It could be. Yeah. So they didn't give me no eyes on any of them because I would have took the over on uh, the under on a lot of them. But, you know, so I like that. Pacers 76ers. I didn't bet on this one because I know I feel like no matter what I do, the opposite is going to happen. I want to do the Pacers plus 10 and a half so the Pacers can lose by 10 because they played them good last time, but they didn't. They won. Pacers, what was it? They lost without Embiid. If you look at their history, seventy sixers won at home earlier in the year, last month or in January, seventy six won in overtime by three without him So, yeah, no, I don't. I'm just gonna leave it alone. I want to play with it, but sometimes you just gotta leave it alone. So that's what we got with that. Yeah, blowout. Worst team is, you know, I was going to keep on probably getting a little increasing. And you got the Hawks versus the Heat. We just talked about that Heat. You can take the Heat for the spread, too, if you like. Joker versus Raptors, I have no who, no clue who's going to win. Joker should win, should be an easy win. But I didn't feel safe doing a money line. If anything, just take the money line. Nuggets. Pelicans versus the Kings, I don't feel safe about this one either, even though Pelicans haven't been winning. They've been playing good, and the Kings should win, should be another home win, and I'm acting scared. So we look at three. Dame Dollar, the reason I took his under, well, that's simple because it's blowout. Now, Jimmy Buckets, this is the one we don't know. We don't know because he picks and chooses when to play basketball and to play hard. He literally... Hey, this this game, I'm going to be aggressive. This game, I'm going to take 15 shots. I'm going to go to the dr- hole and shoot 20 free throws. And the next game, I'm going to shoot eight and go to the line and only shoot four. Then I'm going to be aggressive again and shoot 20. Like, you can't really gauge this dude. Like, he's such a weird player. I just don't get why he pick and choose to play. We just hoping today he picks. He chooses to play. And we have one of these. Will we get seven rebounds? Because at least low, high, low, low, high. <laughs> so we looking for a low, high. <laughs> uh, that's the method to my madness. We'll see if it work or not or if I'm crazy. We'll see. Joker, we did assist and rebounds. You know, Joker... Can have a low assist game, but he could have a high one. Good one of them three assist game. I don't see it to be one of those. I think it's high rebounds, high assists because we need 23. Look what he do at home. Last time at home, he hit it. Last time at home, he hit it. 2-0. and Last time at home, he hit it. 3-0. and Last time at home, uh, didn't get it. Well, yeah, he hit it. So, at home, he, he show out. I believe he's going to show out for us. So, people, let me know if you made some money yesterday. Shout out to the Hall of Famers. I was just only going to do it for you, but I opened it up to the people because I'm the people's champ. I'm here for the people. Good stuff. We won some money. Let's get this thing popping. You want to support a player? Holler at us. Become a Hall of Famer. If not, I will see you soon. Let's see if we can get some wins.